Welcome back to my channel. In this Photoshop tutorial, we'll make a glowing thumbnail for YouTube. First, let's create a new document. Select the subject and remove the background. Select the extra areas of the image and press delete to trim them away. Use Ctrl plus T to transform the image and adjust its size. Now, let's add a solid color adjustment layer to enhance the background. Set the blending mode to linear burn or feel free to pick another that fits your image better. Next, create a new group by clicking on the group icon. Now drag this layer into the group you just created. Next, fill the mask with black to hide the layer. Select the brush tool and reduce the opacity to below 30%. Now, drag the image layer into the group to keep things organized. Now, add a different solid color adjustment layer to change the overall look. Next, clip the solid layer to the layer above it. Next, fill the mask with black to hide the layer. Apply a white, soft round brush on the layer. Now, paint with the black brush to remove any unwanted color. Next, apply a gradient map adjustment layer. Now, create a new blank layer. Fill the layer with black color and apply screen blending mode. Clip the gradient map to the new layer. Select the pen tool and draw a path along the edges. Go to Path, then choose Stroke Path and select Brush. Select the Black Brush tool and apply it to the edges to shape the glow. Choose a white brush, set the flow to 15% and adjust the hardness to 100% for sharper glow. Use a soft black brush to gently refine and smooth the glow effect. Select the pen tool and draw the path.
Now, choose the smudge tool and gently apply it to blend the edges. Use the pen tool to draw paths along the edges. Then apply stroke path to create a glowing effect. Hold Crawl and click on the image to create a selection from it. Now, select the group and click the mask icon to apply a mask to the entire group. Use the brush to paint along the edges, creating a glowing effect. Now, add a gradient map adjustment layer. Choose a green gradient in the gradient map to create a glowing effect on the edges. Make a new blank layer, fill it with black. Set the blending mode to screen and clip the gradient map to this layer for a glowing effect. Use the pen tool to draw a path Then apply a brush stroke to add a glowing effect to the edges. Apply a black round brush to smoothly blend the colors for a refined look. Create a new group, add the solid color background layer to it. A 
and use a black mask to conceal the background. Choose a white soft round brush and gently dab it on the side areas for a smooth blend. Now, add another solid color background layer and follow the same steps to blend and mask it. Create a solid white background and gently dab the brush in the center to seamlessly blend it with the other colors. Now, add a gradient color background layer to enhance the overall composition. Start by creating a new group for your text and then type in the desired text. Now, use Ctrl plus J to duplicate the text layer. To add text effects, double-click on the text layer to access the blending options. Now. Apply bevel and emboss, drop shadow, stroke color overlay, and inner shadow to enhance your text effect.
Now, apply the same effects to another text layer for consistency in your design. Next, incorporate YouTube icons into your design to enhance visual appeal. Distribute and position the icons carefully within your design for a balanced look. Now, apply a path blur effect to the icon to create a sense of motion. Next, include a Photoshop icon and apply blur effects.
Now, include an arrow growth icon to signify progress or direction in your design. Use Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E to create a combined layer. Now, right-click on the merged layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Next, apply a Camera Raw filter to enhance the image with advanced adjustments. Use Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E to create a combined layer. Then apply the oil paint filter for a unique texture. Now, add a mask and use a black brush to paint over the face, reducing the oil paint effect for a more natural look. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and support the channel for more content like this.